right, today we'll begin today's lesson with some dynamic stretches. Let's begin with a light jog at your own pace. And now butt kicks. You're going to bring the heel of your sneaker to your hamstring area. Again, going at your own pace to avoid injury. Now, arms extended, giving yourself a target. High knees, get those knees high above the waist. Now let's go karaoke, full body workout, getting the arms incorporated. Same thing coming back to work the other side with karaoke. Now slow things down a little bit and we're going to go Frankenstein's, kicking those legs up nice and high. And the same thing back. Finishing with knee hugs, bringing the knees with both hands tight into your chest, alternating after a few steps. Archery, lesson two, safety. In the bow, you want to make sure that you hold the bow itself in your strong hand or shooting hand nice and high and hold the string in your non-shooting hand. Make sure that there is no tangle at the bottom of the bow. Now, with your feet wide, you want to step through with your dominant foot and get back to wide feet. Anchor the bow on the outside of your sneaker and use the back of your leg to bend the bow using leverage to string the bow properly on the latch. Make sure that you do not put your finger through the loop located at the top of the bow string. Hold the bow string at the clip for safety reasons. It's important that before and after you shoot to check your arrows for any defects. Common defects include the arrow point or arrow head missing, the shaft being broken or chipped, and the knock being broken or completely detached. You also want to make sure that you have three fletchings at all times. Avoid dry shooting for your personal safety and also to keep the quality of the equipment intact. It's important to follow the instructor's commands, step up to the shooting station when called for, pick up the bow when you are asked to, knock your arrows when you're told to, Make sure you straddle the shooting line when you are called up. This helps with proper positioning. If at any point in time you drop an arrow, leave it because picking it up will put you in a line of fire. And for safety reasons, only retrieve your arrows when you are asked to do so. When retrieving an arrow from the target, make sure that you twist and pull for your safety 
and to ensure the quality of the arrows. To cool down after our lesson, we're gonna finish with some static stretches. Starting with the butterfly stretch, you wanna hold each stretch for about 30 seconds. Right leg out, left foot in, extend both hands as far as you can go. Avoid pulling back on the toes. And switch to opposite. Feet together, again extending both hands as far as they go. Open up down the middle, both hands flat on the ground, extend as far as you can go. Everyone is flexible at their own level. Bring your right foot over your left leg, both hands outside the right leg, back stretch. And switch. Right arm across the chest, holding tight at the elbow. Switch. Right elbow above the head, holding tight at the elbow. And switch. And now let's finish with some calisthenics, starting with 10 sit-ups, feet flat on the ground, arms tight across the chest, bring your elbows to your lower thigh area. And finishing with some push-ups, specifically 90 degree push-ups, we're going to do 10 of those. In closing, if you choose to try today's lesson at home, please make sure that you have enough space to do so for safety. Only attempt the skills described in this video if a parent or guardian is present in the case of an emergency. Try to avoid crowded gyms or parks in an effort to adhere to COVID-19 guidelines. Remember, attempting the skills in this video is not a requirement, but please complete and submit the questions attached to this video to check for understanding.